Salutations and welcome back to Let's Play Odd World Ed's Exodus. This is Edgar. In the previous episode we began making progress in the Madanshi Vault. We have completed four of the six needed to unlock the Madanshi trial, so let's get to work on the remaining two. We will begin with the one on the right. I see a path leading to the right, but I want to see what happens when I pull the lever. Well that was bloody useless. To the right it is then. Looks like we can go either up or left. Let's go left first. In actuality you are forced to go left, because if you try going up, you will be dropped down near that scrab and will quickly be killed. Work your way down from here. You can see a padlock to smack, but there is also a nearby secret. To access it, just roll to the right of the padlock. Just leave the padlock alone for the moment, we will want the invisibility to get past that scrab up above. Simply chant to open the bird portal, and then jump inside to reach the secret area. When you enter, you will see three Mudokans below your starting position, as well as three doors separating them from a group of leeches. You also start next to a lever, and pulling this lever will shock anything just to the right of the crawl space. You will have to shock all the fleeches in this manner. The idea is to lure them to the above area and shock them as they chase you. You need to be somewhat quick, as the three doors providing safety to the Mudokans will systematically open, and when all three are open, they are basically screwed. Well they're certainly screwed now, I messed up the timing. Let's give this another go, and this time, let's make sure all the fleech is Jace after A. Now let's sap the lot of them. Excellent, the danger is gone, and now it's a simple matter of leading these three to the portal. I like how two of them randomly have a deep voice. Anyway, let's let them out. Pop into the nearby bucket to return to the Madanshi vaults. Now that we are back here, let's climb back up to the padlock. We can reach the above floor by climbing from where the particles are trickling down. Mind you don't accidentally step on the slug and wake the fleeches. We're going to wake the fleeches when we smack the padlock anyway, but wasting the invisibility here is a terrible idea. See the bucket to the left. It's the same one we uselessly fell in when we began this area. Smack the padlock and then use it to make a speedy getaway. The door out of this area needs two padlocks, so one down, one to go. Now that we have invisibility, we want to go up. From this vantage point, you want to use your invisibility and then pull the series of two levers. That will drop you and the fleeches down to the scrab, who will ignore you since he doesn't know you're there. Smack the nearby padlock and then get the hell out of the scrab's way. Work your way past the few fleeches above and exit the area. Wasn't too tough really. That door has returned us to the main vault area, so only one level remains before the trials can be attempted. What are we waiting for? Let's get to work. Last one, and as much as I hate to admit it, this one is a bit of a doozy. Only a single padlock to smack, but don't think it's going to be so simple. If you are unable to enter a bucket from a run, I suggest you take the time to practice the technique here. So here's the case. We need to lure the scrab up the top to the lower level, get him to fight the other scrab, and get the padlock either while they fight, or using some crafty lure. Not sure why I didn't realize that would happen. 
in order to get the scrap down one level, you'll have to use yourself as bait. Now that he's down there, we can proceed. Head to the left. You will find the lever. The lever will open the door, and the two scraps will have a fight to the death. It's perfectly possible to get the padlock while the two scraps are fighting, but it's a bit risky. There's a much easier approach, though it is a little time consuming. It involves using yourself as bait to lure the scrap around, and using the lever to close the door so he can't come charging after you. What? Does he not give a shit all of a sudden? There he is, let's lure him to the right side. Nice tasty Mudok Nova here. Now let's rush to the left, close the door, and smack the padlock. The exit is open, but the scrab is now hanging around its location. We'll have to lure him to this side and trap him using the lever. Might help if I open the door first. Well okay, he wandered in on his own. That's fine with me. Let's get out of here. This vault continues, and this is the section that makes me say it's a bit of a doozy. Examine the foreground. There are only two padlocks to smack, but there is a scrap hanging about and nowhere to trap the damn thing, so this is going to be a test of speed. The two buckets on the same level as the scrap are linked, so you can use them if you're good at entering a bucket from a run. If not, you'll have to wait for the scrap to ship his ass to one side before you attempt anything. Successfully hitting both padlocks is tough, because you have to factor in the time it takes to approach, smack, pick yourself up, and then escape, and weigh that against the scrap's relative distance from me. Once you manage to hit both padlocks, the exit in the background is open, so use the bucket on the raised middle platform to return there and get the heck out of dodge. And there you have it, the area is complete, but this vault goes on. Fortunately, this area is easier than the previous one. It's quite expensive, but a fair bit of it is essentially wasted space. There are two padlocks, and they can be found in the foreground on the very opposite ends of the area. You will have to contend with one scrap per padlock. Let me head to the right. As you can probably figure out, the sides are basically mirror images of each other. Truthfully they are almost identical. If you can do one side, you can do the other, and if you could do the last area, you shouldn't have much trouble with this one. The exit can be found to the far right side of the background. So let's go to the foreground and go to work. See that small space to the left of the scrap? It's actually possible to hide from both scrabs under that, just food for thought in case you need it. As you can see, the scrap is too fat to fit into the space, and thus we are safe. The only other thing worth mentioning involves the padlocks themselves. The padlocks are located above the scrabs, and smacking them will drop you down to where the scrabs are, so be prepared for the dirty little trick. From this vantage point, you can clearly see the ledge that will drop you when you smack the padlock, and unfortunately it's the only possible place to stand to smack it. I'll have to use the bucket to escape from here. Oh what the heck, 
who can resist. Such a dirty little trick from the developers. It's not too hard really, just be sure the scrap has moved away before you smack it. The other side of the area is basically identical, so just repeat the same technique. I hope you know how to run into a bucket. Like I said, the last area was much more tricky. Head to the far right of the background to exit the area. And with that, we have done it. We have completed all six vaults, and the Mudanshi trial now lays open and ready. To reach it, use the bucket on the left in the foreground. Before I step inside, the trial warrants a little bit of explanation. First of all, do not bother looking for any secrets, neither the Madanshi nor the Madomo trials have any. The trials basically exist to test you as a player. They will test your speed, they will test your ability to react, and they will test your memory. They are quite an extreme difficulty spike, you will see for yourself. They also get their own unique musical theme, which is a nice touch. The premise of the trial is simple, your goal is to reach the end of it alive. It will take a great amount of concentration to pull off the run, so when I begin, I am going to shut up, so please pardon the lack of commentary. If you are having trouble with the trial, I would suggest watching and mimicking what I do. The trial is quite lengthy, and you aren't given many opportunities to stop and think. It will begin when I step into the teleporter. Let's do this shit. Quick save back here if you're using that handy little feature since they give you a small breather. Remember, slogs will attack anything you possess. Time for the big guy to do what he does best. Never fear, Overlord is here. Get colonized, you lot. Get going, youngling. Thanks, boss. God, you viewers act like we aren't friends. Be sure to use this invisibility before you proceed upwards. You'll need to smack both of these padlocks to activate the teleporter. And this one to open the exit. The trials sure are hard, but they sure are fun, what with all that shit going on in quick succession. Head to the left. You'll locate five Mudokans behind electrical barriers. Turning them off is very easy, just give the nearby padlock a smack. After the electrical fields are disabled, lead the Mudokans to the right, and send them off through the bird portal. You can check your progress using the board. If the SKP's count is currently sitting on 94, then well done, you have rescued every last Mudok to this point. Exit through the door. We have completed Mudanshi Vault, and the game has taken the liberty of placing a at the Madomo Vault's doorstep. Entrance to the Madomo Vault can be gained by using the bucket on the right side. We will need to complete the Madomo Vault just like we completed the Madanshi Vault, and once we manage that, we will receive a fancy new power and reach what is essentially the halfway point of the game. 
we begin my domo next time. For now, this has been Edgar, and as always, thank you for your patronage.